Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. As you guys can see here, we're going to start off with the Oracle cards. Once we're done with that, we're going to get into the Tarot cards, okay? All right, my lovelies, I, I hope you guys had an amazing new year. I wish this new year brings the best for you guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification so that you guys can get notified as soon as these videos go up. We have tons of new videos coming for you guys, okay? All right, so we're starting off here, Virgo, with the action card. This is a card that represents having the need to take action, no longer uh, taking the backseat, no longer allowing um, other people to take the initiative when it comes to love and romance. It's like go after what you desire, whatever it is that you're, you know, whoever it is that you're interested in, you got to make that that move, basically. You got to put yourself out there and take action. Don't be so much in your head. Now, the next card here is the first uh, chakra, Archangel Michael. So for some of you guys, it could be that uh, passion is something that is very important for you when it comes to relationships. Um, passion, intensity, uh, the physical aspect of a connection. And there is a lot of healing that's been happening or will be happening for you, Virgos. Now, you guys are one of the signs that is going to be highly affected when it comes to this conjunction that we're going to be experiencing. Um, so again, it could be that um, your, your understanding certain patterns patterns about yourself that you're trying to either evade or no longer do grow from that, uh, which is a very beautiful card. And if you are still on the path uh, that you've been in the past, that will definitely be coming up for you. Um, and it's something that you're going to have to work through for the coming month. Now, you also have here the thinking man. So I see you guys really being in your head, thinking about the future, thinking about where you want to be when it comes to love and romance. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, this can also represent um, really looking at the details when it comes to your past experiences or past relationships and where you're at now, what you're not going to be putting up with, what you want to bring towards you. Basically, it's the you knowing exactly what it is that you deserve, which is a very beautiful energy, Virgo. All right, let's get into your reading. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. We're going to be pulling out three cards that represent the person of your interest. Now you have the Knight of Coins here, the Eight of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. Okay, this is the person of your interest or the person that you're currently dealing with. With the Knight of Coins, you could be dealing with, um, with it, a, a bit of a very slow-acting person. Um... This is an individual that takes their time um, when making decisions about love or romance. It could be that they are very guarded. Um, this is how your partner is viewing you. So this could be this could be the energy that the partner's taking on, but it can also represent that's how they're viewing you. With the Eight of Cups, someone walked away from this connection. And the Ten of Swords, I feel that there is an ending cycle. So for some of you guys, it could have been a breakup. It could have been a uh, distancing or giving each other some space. Now, your cards are the Three of Coins, the Six of Wands, and the Six of Cups. Okay. I see you guys glowing. I'm not going to lie, Virgo. I see, like, very dark energy over here. It's like... Um, you know, I've been trying to get Virgo's attention and it just seems like they walked away or they gave up on the situation or they're no longer giving me the time of day uh, with the Ten of Swords. It, it, it almost feels like, you know, they've given up in this connection or they're no longer interested. Um, and I just don't know what to do with myself. And you, Virgo, are over here like, you know what? Um if I feel that I'm being put in a third party situation or if I feel like I am one of a few options, then you can stay with your options and I'm walking away. I see you very empowered over here, Virgo. With the Six of Wands, it's like I know what I want and I'm not going to settle for anything less. The Six of Wands is victory. It also speaks about a lot of people really vibing to you. It's like your circle is going to continue to grow. Um, and, and we're talking about not just in regards to friends but also people around you, people that work with you, people that 
are starting to really see a different side to you, Virgo. With the Six of Wands, this is victory. This is like being proud of your achievements and what you're going for and making those things happen. Um, I see you very motivated and I see you like not even dwelling in this energy. So this could be an ex-partner. This could be a person that you were dealing with in the past. Um, and they're seeing you like, I don't like to use the word envious, but it almost feels like why the hell is in Virgo like, you know, chasing me like maybe they did in the past. And it's like you're over here like, nah, -uh, honey, I'm <laughs> doing me. I'm focused on my goals and my aspirations, the Six of Cups. It is being around those that make you feel good. It's being around those that are motivating you, that are really trying to bring, you know, embrace this new energy, this new Virgo that you are. Now, they have the World card. Yeah, so there is an ending here, some type of breakup or separation. I see them, I see them in a pity party. I see them like... They don't know how to get your attention, but they're also not taking any action. Uh, I see them feeling rejected by you, Virgo. Um, now, this can also represent feeling like, like they feel hurt that they feel hurt that you either walked away from this connection or that you're starting to put boundaries. And I see them as, like, they're not okay with that. They feel like, they feel very upset. They feel, like, very butthurt about the situation. Like, where the hell did Virgo get all this inner strength and inner power? Maybe you were dealing with a, a situation, a partner that was used to you going after them. That was used to you chasing them. That was used to you being the one to try to work things out. And now it's like you're not you're you're completely transforming yourself, Virgo. Now your next card here is the three of swords with the nine of coins. Okay. So it could have been a situation where you felt like this person betrayed you or like they let you down. Um, and you got to the point of feeling like enough is enough. I am not gonna be dealing with this three of swords. I feel that this three of swords is in the reverse. So you did the healing. You acknowledge certain things or certain patterns about your past about past relationships or, or, or partners that you had a tendency of going after. And the nine of coins is being empowered, being in love with your singlehood or embracing that you're single right now. And it's like, I know that when the time is right, I'm going to meet the person that is right for me. I'm no longer searching for it. I'm over here doing me. I'm focusing on me. And this is the energy that I'm loving for you, Virgo. And truth of the matter is that True connections happen when you take it back to you. True relationships form when you're so focused on yourself. Why? Because you're emanating that self-love. Because you're not having or chasing the need to feel whole. You're working on making yourself whole. You're working on making yourself a priority. And when you start to vibrate from that energy, then that's what you're bringing towards you, a person that is empowered like you, a person that has their shit together, a person that knows exactly what it is that they want and what their worth is. And, and this is, I'm loving this energy for you, Virgo, because I definitely do see a transformative energy here. It's like you're no longer going to be dealing with pity parties. You're no longer going to be dealing with people that create a thousand excuses of why they can't commit or why they're not consistent or why they're not available right now. It's like you're no longer dealing with that energy. Looking at this, it's like a major contrast. This is dark, <coughs> excuse me. This is dark, this is like just wallowing in their pity. And look at your cards. It's like the only, the only card <coughs> that brings some type of pain or some type of challenge here is the three of, of swords but it's i feel that it's in the reverse like the the heartache or the even feeling like i'm never going to be happy is like you're no longer vibrating to that because when it's in reverse the swords are coming out of the heart it's like you've healed yourself you worked on yourself you know what you want and you're going after your dreams and you're taking action exactly what the cards were showing you the oracle cards it's like 
what they're telling you here is the person that you're dealing with, if they cannot meet meet your standards or if they cannot meet you to your energy, don't try to force it. Let it go because there is momentum here. There is major transformative energy that's coming towards you and you're going to see it in your coins. You're going to see it in your money, in your finances. You're going to be more empowered. You're going to be more at ease. You're going to be more free. I see you guys really you know, wanting to socialize. I see you guys really like getting out of your own comfort zone because you feel like you've outgrown that. And that's a very beautiful thing. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.